Our story today is One Word from Sophia by Jim Averbeck and Yasmin Ishmael. And here on our title page, we can see our Sophia. And it looks like she's got a little dog all wrapped up in ribbons. And looks like maybe she's getting ready to celebrate something. Sophia's birthday was coming up and she had five things on her mind. One true desire and four problems. Her one true desire was to get a pet giraffe for her birthday. Her four problems were mother, who was a judge, father, who was a businessman, Uncle Conrad, who was a politician, and Grandmama, who was very strict. Sophia presented her case to her mother. I would like a giraffe, she said, because they burn less gasoline, so they meet federal regulations better than the cars we use now. In the last 50 years, no giraffes have been recalled for defective parts, and newer models have a particularly strong safety record. Also, giraffes have not been shown to cause any major diseases. Giraffes are legal in all 50 states. And a giraffe could take me to ballet class and deliver me right to the second floor. Her argument was accompanied by a compelling slideshow that included a map of the walk to class. I'm sorry, said Mother in her decision, but I will have to rule against a giraffe at this time. You provided no proof that you are ready for pet ownership and failed to cite any laws about minors driving quadrupeds. And your argument was too verbose. Verbose, asked Sophia, what does that mean? Too many words, said Mother. How many should I use? Fewer, said Mother. And she retired to her chambers. So, Sophia used fewer words with father. Giraffes, said Sophia, are a good source of manure, which can be sold to add a profit to garden centers and activists. In short, people will pay me for poop. Her proposal was accompanied by a compelling graph showing how much money she would make. I'm sorry, said father, but your business plan is unsound. You failed to count the cost and feeding of your manure producer, not to mention the warehousing of the poop. And your pre presentation was far too effusive. Effusive, said, asked Sophia, what's that mean? Too many words, said father. How many should I use? Fewer, said father, and he got back to his conference call. Sophia polled the other members of the household and presented the chart to Uncle Conrad. Four out of five respondents are in favor of giraffes, she said. Mr. Bunn strongly agrees. Tiger Eye strongly agrees. Ted somewhat agrees. Snakey Poo agrees. And only Pony Boy disagrees as to why ballerinas should ride giraffes to school. The results were accompanied by a compelling pie chart. I'm sorry, said Uncle Conrad, but your results indicate that being in favor of draft ownership would cost me the support from the Pony American community. And besides, your report was far too loquacious. Sophia didn't even need to ask. Finally, she approached Grandmama. She accompanied her plea with a compelling foot rub. Draft? No, said Grandma Ma, and do try to get to the point next time. At last, in a desperate attempt before her birthday, Sophia prepared to speak to everyone at once. She revised and shortened her proposition until it was just one word. Please! The proposal was accompanied by a particularly compelling pair of eyes. On her birthday, Sophia was delighted to find that short and sweet often brings results. One word really worked, she said. And two words came in handy as well. Thank you.